Um, it is our belief that everyone has a dream, and sometimes the reason that they don't do it is because they don't have those supports. Hi, this is Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub. Today I'm here with Aaron Lucas, who's the Executive Director of the Bucks County Opportunity Council. Thanks for joining us today, Aaron. Thanks for having me. As you'll recall, we shot a video uh, before COVID actually set in and everybody was subject to quarantine. But I know that Bucks County Opportunity Council is busier than ever. You guys are working seven days a week right now? Yes, we are. We are pretty busy uh, in response to COVID-19. And uh, Bucks County Opportunity Council in regular times offers so much help out there for people who need it. But could you tell us some of the issues that you guys are handling as a result of the coronavirus health epidemic? Sure. Uh, we actually have, um, we continue to do all of our regular operations um, with the exception of our weatherization program, which is currently on hold um, due to the fact that we really can't go into people's homes right now. Um, so we're working on some safety precautions for that to get that back going again. But really right now we're focusing on three areas, which, it, you know, food insecurity is huge right now. So we are, we have beefed up our regular food distribution and have increased the amounts of food that we are getting out to people. Our numbers have more than doubled, um, in the amount of people that we're serving during this time. Um, and, you know, it's been both humbling and also um, very rewarding to be a part of that because people are so thankful for the assistance that's available, and they're just thankful that we're out there, rain or shine, where we've and and wind and cold, we've been out there making sure that people have um, food every single week. Uh, so we're doing that still in three locations: uh, Oddsville, Warminster, and Bristol. And uh, the only other thing I think that we should talk about that's corona related is how people can get in touch with you are your is your contact information still the same it's just people cannot visit you at your actual locations unless they're going for food right so actually we're not uh accepting any um traffic in any of our locations um, all of our food distribution is done out at different sites at our normal fresh connect uh, distribution sites but people can get in contact with us the same way. All of our staff uh, are working remotely, but our phones are forwarded and our um, email is readily available. So we are, we're just connecting with people in a new way. So Erin, you mentioned a number of uh, Corona specific ways that you're helping people in the community in need. Do you also help people with any kind of rental assistance? We are helping people right now with rental assistance to prevent eviction. While we recognize that the courts have suspended evictions, we do understand that people still owe the rent. And so we're trying to get ahead of it and help people by assisting them with um, their April and May rent. Um, if they've been affected by COVID, they should contact our offices for assistance. Well, I am very grateful for you to join us to give us this little COVID supplement to the video that we shot. And uh, I, I look forward to working with you in the future. And on behalf of everybody in Bucks County, thank you for all that you're doing for its citizens. Thanks, Matt. We appreciate it. Bye. Hi, I'm Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub. Today, I have the pleasure of being joined by Bucks County Opportunity Council Executive Director Aaron Lucas and a successful client of the Bucks County Opportunity Council, Kevin Heck. We're very interested to hear more about the council and uh, your success story, Kevin. Thank you both for joining me today. Thank you for having us. So, Aaron, I'd like to start off with you. You're the Executive Director mm -hmm. of Bucks County Opportunity Council is a very vital stakeholder in our community. You've helped countless people here in Bucks County but I think more people could use your services. Can you tell us what it is you do? Sure. Um, BCOC, Bucks County Opportunity Council, is the community action agency for our county. Um, that means that we help people who are low income, um, people who are struggling to make ends meet or meet their most basic needs uh, on a continuum. So we help people along that path to self-sufficiency until ultimately they be can become self-sufficient. Before we came in here, I know you wanted to stress a couple of the services. You, you provide many services, but are there two 
that you'd like the public to know about specifically? Sure. Um, I, it's, it's hard to choose since, you know, right. we, have, we have five um, pretty robust program areas. Um, our food program really helps the entire community. Uh, we are the lead food agency for the county, and um, we help get m over two million pounds of food into the community wow. uh, every year into the hands of the food pantry so that they can distribute to um, all of the uh, people in our county who need assistance. I think it's important to note that most of the people who come to us for food assistance to, who come to our pantries are working. And I think that that's often forgotten in our community, but that, you know, it's not people who are just coming for food. It's people who are working and are unable to make those ends meet. So we help people food. bridge that gap. We help bridge the gap. And yeah. uh, what's another program that you'd like to stress today if you had a chance? Um, the Economic Self-Sufficiency Program is our uh, cornerstone program. It is the program that helps move people out of poverty permanently. So we work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We help them to um, create uh, goals or plans, or we just help to support their goals and plans. Uh, and we help to, again, bridge the gap, help financially, um, help motivationally, and just kind of be there, be there to support people and help people move forward. And I know that you have many success stories that you can tell. We do. And uh, in preparation for today, we ask you not only to tell that story, but to bring in a success story. And here's Kevin Heck who I actually had the privilege of hearing speak at our last reentry coalition meeting. Kevin, uh, you have quite a story to tell. I, I know we don't have hours and hours here, but uh, would you attribute some of your success to the Bucks County Opportunity Council? Absolutely. Why don't um, you tell us a little bit about yourself and how they helped you? So my name is Kevin Hecht. Um, I grew up in Bucks County. Um, you know, I, I struggle with, you know, substance abuse issues for a majority of my life after a career ending injury. I played minor professional ice hockey and um, um, I took a program called Drug Court in Bucks County. Um, while on the Drug Court program, I was, you know, struggling making ends meet with the finances, paying rent, trying to go back to school. I, you know, I, I strive for so much success, like I had my entire life, but I was able to kind of, or unable to actually make that happen. So that's um, a lot for anybody, let alone yes. somebody that might be struggling with substance use disorder. But you wanted to put all those pieces together and you needed a little help to do it? I did. Um, a, a friend that was familiar with the program reached out to me and told me about their self-sufficient program. So I kind of composed an email, kind of just a short um, explanation of my story. Um, I immediately got a phone call from one of the self-sufficient coaches that they have. I was invited to come in. I sat down, kind of explained my story again, and they were immediately, you know, so amazing and welcoming. Um, they did nothing but try and help me in every way possible, from housing to their wheels to work program, where they were offered, um, you know, a vehicle if you're struggling with transportation. Um, you know, their their adoptive family getting a Christmas if you're, you know, not able to provide for your family. But for me personally, they helped with um, the financial aspect of my housing. They helped with the financial financial aspect of me graduating from Penn state as a certified recovery specialist and that being said really helped me kind of get my life back on track successfully graduate drug court you know and and created this wave of success where it's led to me now to work in treatment and be able to provide and, and this year i was able to actually adopt a family myself and, and oh, that's really incredible i think it's fair to say that while you have to do the work and put in the effort that it's almost impossible for any one person to do it by themselves without assistance yeah. and bucks county opportunity council was the one that helped you bridge many of these gaps, it sounds like. Yeah. I mean, it says it right in the name, Bucks County Opportunity Council. They just provided with me the, with the opportunities to become successful, and it was on me to really grasp onto it and, and stay focused and get my life back on track, and that's, that's what I did. Well, you're certainly a great example. I appreciate you sharing your story with us. I know, Erin, I'd be remiss if I didn't allow you to, to let people know, well, first of all, all the services are free, yes. and, and how do people get a hold of you? Are you located in any particular area in the county? Should they call? Should they email you? Website? What is it? We are located in all parts of the county, so we have an office in Quakertown, um, two in Doylestown, one is our administrative office, and one in Bristol. And so uh, we span the whole county, we reach the whole county. Uh, our website is um, the easiest way to access services to figure out uh, which ones you qualify for or which ones might best fit your needs, um, it's www.bcoc.org. Oh, that's great. So uh, I've been here with Erin Lucas, who's the Executive Director of Bucks County Opportunity Council, 
and one of many success stories, Kevin Hecht. This is an ongoing process, but any way that the Opportunity Council can help somebody get on their feet by bridging some of those gaps, that's what they're there for. Hopefully this has been informative, and if you need them, they're just a, a text or a, an email away. Thank you. This has been Matt Weintraub. Be safe.